Hey friends, welcome back to Make and Make It. Today we're wrapping up our Family Matters series with a focus on building spiritual traditions in the midst of our busy lives. If you've been feeling overwhelmed, you're not alone. Let's talk about how we can create simple faith-based traditions that bring peace even in the chaos. I'm sure everyone's household is different when it comes to prayer and devotion time. Every family has its own rhythm and that's perfectly okay. For us, faith isn't about elaborate rituals. It's about the small moments that remind us of God's presence, like a quick prayer before meals, bedtime prayers, or simply reading a Bible verse together. These little acts build a strong foundation of faith. As pastors, we are very active in our church and spend much of our time devoted to ministry there. Because of this, home is our place of peace, a sanctuary where our devotion, prayer, and faith discussions can be more relaxed. It's a time for us to reflect, ask questions, and connect with God and each other in a quieter, more personal way. One of the ways we integrate faith into our daily life is through reading together. My son and I love reading the Action Bible. The colorful graphics really capture his attention, and it's a great way to bring the stories of the Bible to life for him. Some nights, we end our family dinners with a short devotional. We've been using the family devotional, and it's such a blessing. The lessons are simple but powerful, and the questions at the end really get us talking as a family. These small moments are where we build the most meaningful connections. As we close out this Family Matters series, I want to encourage you, don't worry about making your faith perfect. It's about progress and the small steps you take to keep God at the center of your life. Those little steps will add up to something beautiful over time. Remember, Proverbs 22 and 6 tells us to train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. It doesn't mean that your child will be perfect. It means that you plant the seed so that they will forever remember what you have taught them. If this video encouraged you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more faith-based family content. I'd love to hear in the comments below how you've been building spiritual traditions in your family. Remember, I'm always praying for you, even if I don't know who you are. I'll see you next time.